first of all, uh, a short introduction. Uh, I'm coming from FEUGA, which is the, the uh, Galician Enterprise University Foundation. We are a research transfer office uh, working for uh, three universities in Galicia, which is the region, uh, uh, the northwestern uh, region in, in Spain. So we do not uh, research. I, I, my, my background is, is research on hyperspectral imaging, textual analysis, and all of that. But at this moment, uh, my work is more on promoting uh, researchers uh, to collaborate, especially on, in, on European projects. Uh, secondly, I, I'll talk a, li a little bit about uh, 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 forestry in Galicia, uh, just uh, probably to, to, to have some highlights to understand uh, the needs we have and uh, uh, what we are doing there, uh, especially in the wood quality control um, uh, topic, because uh, industry is very interested at this moment on, on this. Uh, and uh, finally, some, some insights about uh, terahertz technology, uh, because uh, we are uh, um, working with some researchers there on this topic and we are proposing this for, for further investment uh, because there are some opportunities as I talk uh, later in Galicia for, uh, for uh, the forestry sector and this is open uh, to companies and uh, uh, research groups uh, worldwide. Okay, so uh, I'll go fast on this because I'll leave a leaflets uh, from our, our uh, organization uh, outside. Uh, as I told you before, uh, we work with the three universities in Galicia, and uh, our role is, uh, among others, but uh, I, uh, with uh, three more colleagues and one in Brussels, work uh, to promote the participation of uh, Galician partners in H2020 R&D uh, projects, not only on the, in the forestry sector, but uh, this is very important uh, for us in our region, so uh, that's why I'm here. Um, uh, in fact, uh, we are participating as an uh, as, uh, institution in, in, in several H2020 uh, and previously uh, FP7 uh, projects. Uh, the ones uh, uh, in, the, in, in the red cir circles are related to the forestry sector. Uh, I have leaflets of AFINET, which is a, a coordination and support action uh, on uh, agriculture and forestry. Uh, to collaborate on, on these topics. Tropic Safe uh, is about uh, uh, diseases, uh, not, not on, on timber, but especially on, on, on uh, uh, citrus and uh, um, uh, tropical plants, but we are very interested in, in uh, pest management, pest detection, uh, because, for example, as I told you before, there's an, uh, an opportunity opened by the Galician government to uh, uh, um, fund uh, projects on this. Uh, there's a, a civil EU, UAVs uh, initiative, okay? So uh, they are funding projects, uh, for example, uh, on hyperspectral imaging on, on UAVs and all of that, to monitor the penetration of uh, invasive uh, species, uh, pests, and all of this. And finally, we have uh, um, uh, regional uh, project with uh, Portugal about uh, monitoring uh, biomass uh, and uh, what, which is the, 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 the thermal potential of, of uh, biomass because uh, as I tell you later, uh, forests are uh, growing up uh, without uh, control uh, to, uh, to a certain extent in, 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 in Galicia and in, in the attractive facade of, of the uh, Iberian Peninsula. Okay, so we are very active in, in, in platforms like uh, Photonics 21 uh, and, and others. So uh, just an overview, we are there. So <laughs> we were traveling from, from Galicia to Amsterdam and then uh, everything happened and so we, we, we crossed <laughs> Europe to, to, to reach uh, Collie. Um, uh, Galicia is more or less the size of uh, Belgium and has more or less the population of uh, Lithuania. Um, well, uh, as you probably know, um, and this could sound curious, uh, Spain 
uh, has one of the biggest uh, forest areas in, in Europe. Not all of that forest is productive, and that's why not uh, uh, industries as developed as in, in Finland, for example. And uh, within uh, Spain, uh, Galicia could be considered the, the timber reservoir of, of uh, Spain because uh, more than 60% uh, of, of uh, the surface is um, forest, and this is uh, increasing. Uh, as you can see, uh, uh, we are the, 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 the leftmost corner, uh, almost green, uh, mainly, uh, mainly uh, eucalyptus globulus on the Atlantic facade because most of the wood is uh, dedicated to um, pulp for the paper industry, but also um, pinus pinaster and also very important um, um, chestnut tree. For, uh, for, for the construction sector, and uh, oak. Okay, so this is a typical Galician landscape. Okay, you can see uh, the, the small villages, uh, just, uh, for example, a dozen of, of uh, houses with the um, uh, land for crops and uh, uh, for having uh, the cutter around and the rest is uh, forest. And uh, forest is increasing because agriculture is being abandoned. And this is uh, a, a problem uh, for, uh, for um, with uh, fi fires and all of that. Okay, so uh, this is all of uh, my speech in numbers. Uh, one problem we have, uh, the small size of property. Okay, this is very important because uh, this uh, prevents people to invest money on uh, forestry. Okay, we have a lot of uh, forests, but uh, without production and without uh, quality uh, production. Okay, so uh, that's a problem. We have uh, not um, uh, woods ready for uh, industrialization. So we need uh, tools for monitoring uh, which wood is. Uh, useful for industry or not. Okay, this is, uh, as you know, uh, different types of defects. Uh, this is very, very interesting because uh, we've been working with an industry uh, with a sawmill uh, working with um, chestnut tree. So they produce for uh, uh, roofs and structures for uh, uh, making beams. So uh, they have this problem with voids, okay. So, uh, regarding wood quality control, uh, much has been done in the last years. Uh, a lot of work on, on color and texture, uh, a lot of work in University of Oulu, in, in several uh, universities in, in Finland. The problem with this, of course, is illumination. Okay, uh, I've been working on this uh, for my uh, PhD thesis. Okay, everything works uh, fine when you go to industry. Uh, uh, you need a lot of, uh, a lot of calibration, Th this doesn't work, uh, this is, is um, very stable. No? So, uh, okay, so industry comes and say, okay, wh what do you suggest? Uh, we've been talking about uh, X-rays in, in the last uh, presentation, hyperspectral imaging, uh, imaging thermography for, uh, for uh, uh, moisture um, uh, measurement, okay, which is a, uh, a uh, very important aspect, hyperspectral imaging. Okay, I w we could discuss a little bit about this because I'm very interested on, on this for my previous work. But um, in the last uh, few years, uh, we've uh, detected a growing interest on, on terahertz, which uh, I'm sure you've uh, been uh, you, you've heard about. Uh, so uh, we are we have. Uh, research groups and industry in Galicia working on, on this. And uh, okay, uh, the questions are, okay, how accurate is this? How efficient? How deep can you reach? So for example, with a hyperspectral, we were talking about a few uh, millimeters. Uh, with uh, terahertz, we, we would talk about centimeters, a few centimeters, but uh, a lot of research uh, has to be conducted to 
uh, determine uh, the, the ranges uh, depending on the on the species and, and all of this. So uh, we would like to, to meet people working on, on these topics uh, because there's a, a growing interest uh, for, for the application to, to, to defect detection and also for a continuous uh, uh, measurement of uh, moisture and humidity. Uh, compared to, to other uh, non-destructive techniques, terahertz has the benefits of uh, the X-rays, so penetration, for example, uh, you don't have the danger of X-rays. Uh, resolution is improving uh, in the last few years. Of course, it's not as good as uh, visible imaging or infrared, but uh, it's getting better, and uh, that's it. So a typical configuration on uh, OSB uh, line, okay, you have an emitter uh, receptor, and you have the, the board pass in between, it's, okay, uh, terahertz is the, the frontier between microwaves. Uh, it's half radio, half optics. So you have uh, uh, that configuration of emitter and, and, and receiver. And uh, this is taken from a manufacturer, uh, which I, well, I, I we, we've, we've been trying with this uh, equipment with uh, good results. You can see the detection Okay, this is the, a metal screw here, and you can see through the through the through the table here, and you can even see the defect the other side. Okay, you the, you, you are looking at the table this side, and you can see the the, the knot the other side. So uh, you could do, perform a typical uh, image processing techniques, uh, segmentation, or whatever, to to discriminate and to to, to find things. Uh, this is quite curious because uh, in Galicia there's uh, the problem with hunters. They shoot and they, they, you have uh, um, uh, these bullets in the, in the locks and this is a problem for, for industry. I, I, didn't, I haven't heard about that uh, until last year and it seems to be a, a, a good, uh, a very difficult problem, uh, as a, a, a drawback with uh, chains and so means and all of that. So. Some ideas for the future, uh, for example, a uh, pellet mill uh, has shown interest on this uh, terahertz technology because they want to measure exactly moisture because they are not only certifying their pellets, uh, they are using this for burning, for uh, heat, for, for producing electricity for their own uh, factory. Other situations, for example, there's interest on uh, um, evaluating quality on oak uh, pieces of wood f that are, uh, s uh, are, um, are being sent to, to, to Scotland to, to build um, whiskey casks. So they are very interested in building uh, Galician oak because they like that uh, flavor for the whiskey, but uh, they need to be very sure about the, the quality of, of this, uh, of this uh, material. And uh, well, uh, any uh, kind of uh, material uh, with a very high added value uh, would be uh, useful and uh, would be interested in, in, in knowing about your experiences because uh, uh, for us it's quite new, and, uh, uh, but uh, it opens uh, great opportunities. Thank you very much. Uh, here you have uh, my contact. I leave uh, uh, brochures uh, outside and uh, um, I'll uh, gladly uh, answer your questions. Thank you very much. <laughs> so now it's time to questions. I think that there is a forest industry uh, is present here. So what do you think about, about the wood quality measurements. Somebody have uh, some comments? So what kind of? <coughs> so you mean about the, the terahertz? Yes. So uh, how, how you can combine that kind of multispectral or hyperspectral imaging and terahertz and maybe x-ray or something? So is it possible to make some combination of those? Well, um, 
Okay, uh, there's one problem I, I, I mentioned. Uh, of course, uh, with terahertz, you cannot reach uh, that resolution. Okay, I, I, we could talk, uh, there are systems, commercial systems, uh, reaching uh, two uh, per, uh, times two uh, square millimeters, for example. But uh, you could uh, perform some, some kind of uh, image matching, okay, and, and combining in, in uh, having like a, a more dimensions in, into that uh, multispectral or, or hyperspectral uh, uh, cube. Okay, so if uh, with uh, sub-pixel techniques you could uh, have that uh, matching and use it as a, another band, uh, information uh, for, for another band for classification or, or whatever, and uh, applying uh, dimension reduction um, techniques. Okay, but uh, I, uh, that's a good question. I haven't heard about that yet. I haven't read about that, but uh, uh, it could uh, be worth uh, think a little bit about that. We have time. One question more. Somebody have question. Uh, just about the technology, I, I'm not familiar at all with, with this techno technology, but how, what kind of range, I mean, how far can you measure the objects with this technology? Is it very close and small areas, or can you kind of do it further away? You mean uh, from, the, from the machine to the... To the yeah, how, how far can the sensor or camera be from the object that you are actually scanning? A, a few centimeters. Okay, I mean, so not very, very close. Yeah, I mean, hmm. I, um, uh, I have seen uh, installed systems hmm. and the, the, the um, position of, of, of the device hmm. is not that different of a microwave uh, system or whatever. Hmm. So you have the, the board in this case uh, passing by between. Hmm. So uh, in a typical uh, production line, you could uh, do this easily. The, the, the question is, okay, how deep? And, and that's the research uh, topic nowadays. Okay, you, I mean, uh, I think that uh, more um, tests need to be done depending on the on the on the species, on on the material, whatever. So that's that's the, the question now because every, every, everyone is asking. Okay, the, I don't know if this will work for uh, measuring through a lock. Okay, and, and they are asking this to me, and I, I cannot tell yet. Okay. okay, but you will find out. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay, thank you. Okay.